lavender gown. And just like her mother, Felicity wore tight-fitting stays, which were a, like a corset, under her dress so that she would have a proper posture. Now, proper posture was very important when Felicity was taking lessons in the lady like arts at Miss Manderley's. It was at Miss Manderley's that Felicity met her friend Elizabeth Cole. Elizabeth had to wear a corset as well, underneath her pretty pink gown. Her dainty pinner cap was trimmed with ribbon and lace. Do you know why caps like these were called pinner caps? Well, actually, girls had to pin the caps into their hair in order to keep them on their heads. That's a blue bag. Dressed elegantly like this, Felicity and Elizabeth would be ready to try out some of the skills they'd learned during their lessons at Miss Manderley's. One of the things that Miss Manderley taught was how to properly serve and take tea. Now, would you like to learn some modern tea time manners? Sounds fun. Sounds fun. Great. Serving and drinking tea is a little different today than it was in Felicity's time. But some things remain the same. Today, if you're at a tea party or going out to a restaurant, it's still important to remember your manners. We're going to share you a few manner tips and have our models demonstrate for you. 